The fight with Melon is happening a lot faster than I thought. Up what he nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 today's manga nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for B Stars chapter 181. And man, this arc is just getting more powerful by the chapter. I mean, first we had um racial discrimination with the Komodo Dragons, and then these past couple of chapters we had um gender discrimination and god damn it it was amazing holy shit especially when ten was talking about um all that she wanted and why she was joining this turf war was that she just wanted to be treated as an equal it's just was like oh my god it was just so powerful holy shit like at first when you know we were reading the chapter i was just like wait a minute no this is gonna be a gender stereotype no 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 uh, no don't do this itagaki and then as we kept going and um the we had the sun rain and it put out all the torches which you know has been a similar uh the torches have really been a symbol of each species um then we got to the story about, you know, um, the gender of uh, the genders and how, like, as the female Kitsune have um, been treated like shit and all she wanted was to be treated equally. And it was just, oh, God, it was just so powerful. God. And then fucking Melon, that fucking asshole Joker had a road in the goddamn moment. And luckily, Lugosi, I mean, Lugosa came in and stopped that shit. Anyway, let's get to this chapter and see what Itagaki has in store for us this week. Oh, it looks like we're going to see how shit went down um, between the uh, Shishigumi and the Mairagumi. Okay, thank God we're going to see that, because I was going to be like, if we skip that, I, I was going to be fucking pissed. Uh, the, uh, a few minutes earlier, the battle between the Shishigumi and the Madaragumi was terrifyingly short. A uh, battle between fellow felines? Damn straight! Finally, we get to sell the score. Your spots are an eyesore as usual. Let's get this over with. Melon. Uh, hey, Melon. Oh, yes! Oh, we're getting some PTSD! This is some straight up PTSD that we're gonna see right now. Um, and chapter 181 is titled Leopard Spots Like Floating Oil Slicks. Okay, this is gonna be. Uh, you know what? I've given up. Uh, sometimes I've just given up on Itagaki's titles. But. Usually, you know. They end up making sense by the end of the chapter and end up being just like. Okay, they, uh, I get it. But anyway, let's keep going. Hey, Mel, want to take a bath with Mama? The memories of his mother etched into his um, etched into his mind. God, I'm sorry. I have to say this, but and I have to ask this as well. Does anyone else just want to protect like little Melon? Like he's just so cute. I hate that he's grown up to be such an asshole, but I can't blame him. But God, he's just so cute. Leopard spots. Uh. Leave it to us, uh, boss. The Madaragumi and Shishigumi go way back. To be honest, battles between leopards and lions aren't fair. Um, because... I'm, I'm the youngest, so I'll go first. Woo! Dolph, it's been a while since we last fought one-on-one -on -one like this, right? A leopard's extreme physical abilities, um, extends to their fur as well. The fur reacts to the nervous st uh, stimuli traveling from the brain to the muscles, causing it to move. Uh, I'll pick up that apple on the table. Uh, their spots begin, um, uh, begins the flow in that direction. The spots lead the muscles movement by uh, a split second. Dude, I love that we're getting a biology lesson right now. This is great. Um, and all in just a tenth of a second. No, in an instant. So it takes a feline with incredibly sharp eyes to use uh, the movement of a leopard's fur to their advantage. Yet the Maragumi are so proud of their fur um, that they wear the kimonos to show off their patterns. Woo, how convenient. Uh, as expected from the Shishigumi, you aren't just big uh, big bastards. I have, uh, I have to 
get it quick um done quickly. Melon is acting strange today. Well Yes, he is. There's multiple reasons why he is acting strange. Hey Dolph, it's sad to see you King of Beasts sucking up to your new boss like this. Um our King of Beasts title uh uh, our King of Beasts tell you're a leopard for pa uh, patterns. We both uh, we are both being dragged down by the pride of our species. Ooh, that's some deep shit right there. That is fucking deep. I gotta read that again because that is deep. Our King of Beasts title, your leopard fur patterns. We are both being dragged down by the pride of our species. Da you God damn! God! Again, the timing of this chapter. Uh, the timing of these chapters, man! God! The whack. Whoa! Melon, let's uh, keep, just keep them as prisoners. There's, there's no use in killing them now. Didn't you just want to fight Lugosi? Shut up, Agata. Ooh. This guy's fur pattern um, is a real eyesore. Melon, oh God. The PTSD is just fucking real. Melon, let's take a bath together. Uh, well, you can take a bath first. I'm just going to watch TV. You don't want to take a bath with mama. Don't give, oh God, I don't want to protect mom so bad. Don't give me that look. When mama's um, leopard hand touched my gazelle horn, it was not the way a mother's touch, a mother touches her son. Her fingertips uh, reminded me of my gazelle dad. He disappeared without a trace and we never talked about it. Oh, we know what happened though. Help me unhook my bra. My body is too big, my hands can't reach it. Unhook Mama's bra? Please, Melon. Uh. Um. Oh, God, this is so creepy. Oh, my God, this is so creepy. It was like um, countless insects skirting up her back. In an instant, all of her spots rushed towards her neck. God, this is so creepy. Oh, my God, this is so creepy. I still haven't forgotten how that looked, even till the even till this day, dude. I do not blame Melon for having this PTSD, dude. That is creepy. I guess that uh, was what it looked like to get goosebumps. The spots show not only movements but also fear and excitement. You leopards are a disgusting species. What are you? Look, your spots are crawling up just like Mama's, huh? <sighs> You should, you know I should have just stripped off her fur along with her, um, underwear and put an end to her. Um, now I'm able to do so. But tonight I'll put an end to all this trauma. Lugosi, now it's your turn. Ooh! The evil has awakened. Oh my god! Uh, continue next week. Oh my god! Dude! Okay, I fucking love this chapter. And I love what Itagaki is doing here. I see what Itagaki is doing here. Because what we're doing is we're kind of seeing, you know how we saw Lugosi's journey and we saw um, how, and you know how Me I understand another reason why Melon's getting jelly. Because with Lugosi, we saw the complete op Remember when Lugosi was um, fighting with the um, Komodo dragons? We, or I should say, confrontation, fighting slash confrontation with the Komodo dragons. It was the complete opposite experience. Um, because, well, yeah, he got bitten by the... Um, and had the venom injected and had uh, his Komodo dragon, you know, genes awaken. But it was like... It was a positive experience. He didn't have this PTSD. All he kept thinking of when he was fighting the Komodo dragons was how much his grandpa loved him. And he was kept thinking back towards uh, the, uh, the um, loving memories with his grandpa. And, and with, uh, with Melon, with the leopards, it was the complete opposite. Um, with Melon and the leopards, he just kept thinking about his trauma. And he, over and he was talking about overcoming this trauma. I, dude, Inagaki, this is so fucking brilliant. I love this writing. I love what Inagaki is doing. This is so god 
goddamn brilliant! Oh my god! Oh my god, we're seeing like, we're seeing two different journeys. We're seeing the complete opposite in regards to hybrids. And I don't understand why um, Itagaki had Lugosi do an extra confrontation because, um, remember, uh, with Lugosi, he, um, he has two carnivore species in him, hybrid-wise. So he got to, uh, you know, got, got to fight a, um, uh, a, a group of, um, of carnivores. Or, not carnivores, it's all shit. A group of, um, kitsune, which w were canine species. So this totally works. So we got to fight the, um, the, uh, the Komodo dragon side of him and also the canine species, um, uh, canine species. And in a way, Lugosi kind of overcame that fear as what well, similar to like how, uh, um, we just saw, uh, Melon overcome his trauma. We just kind of saw that with Lugosi overcoming his fear of females. God, this was so, Inagaki, I see what you're doing here. This is so fucking brilliant. This is brilliant as hell. I love what Itagaki's doing here. Oh my god, this is so brilliant. And yes, again, you could say with Lugosi, what we got, we're getting on top of that is the, um, I feel like with Lugosi, on top of the, uh, you know, the journey that we're getting with Lugosi is the racial and, um, gender discrimination. Like, that was just, that was just icing on the cake. But man, uh, but like the underlying thing, uh, underlying theme for Lugosi's journey, what, um, the, the whole overall thing was, uh, to see that what Yigaki was trying to do was show like that complete opposite of Melon, where you saw the loving side of, and, um, the loving side with the, uh, with the um, uh, Komodo dragons, and then see Lugosi overcoming his fear. Then see Lugosi overcoming his fear of um, females, and then and then got the melon stuff too. This is just oh god, I love this writing. Oh my god, I Inagaki, I fucking love you. God, so brilliant. And then with then with again with melon. Melon is fucking jealous because he wishes that he had that he had that look because remember Melon's watching all this shit he's watching all this unfold and he's like that son of a bitch why can't I have that Lugosi's a hybrid just like me why can't I have that that's not fair instead I had to deal with all this freaking trauma instead of all this all this all this shit I got the short end of the stick. This is some bullshit. So that's one. Uh, oh God, this is some. God. Anyway, I'm very curious what you guys think. And did you guys pick up the same thing that I did? I'm very curious if anyone else is picking this up. Um, I'm trying to see what I'm. I'm trying to get. I want to see if I can figure out. Uh, the um, I want to try and figure out the uh the title. Oh, I get, okay, so I figured, now that I'm thinking about it, I figured out the title as well. The title, um, I see what Inagaki was saying with the title. That, that was fucking slick. He's talking about what Inagaki was referring to with the title, it, going for with the title is, um, is what, is talking about, like, when the le the leopard spots, uh, when, you know, Melon was ta uh, talking about, um, unhooking his mama's bra and the leopard spots, like, going up his mama's back, kind of like being goose, like, goosebumps. I see. Oh, God. Dude! Igaki! I love you. God, I love Igaki's writing so goddamn much. It is just brilliant. And if no one else can see it, and it's just a goddamn shame. Especially because a lot of, the thing is, is that a lot, what a lot of people are having prob uh, problems with, and I hate, and this is what I hate, is people keep saying that, uh, that this is a furry series and blah blah blah. That this is just for furries and it's just like what the we're missing the point. This is the point of this series. There's just there's more underlying meaning to this series and it's so brilliant. 
there's a, it, it makes, the series really makes you think, and it's just awesome, I love, I love when series makes you think, it makes, and it's, oh god, it's just so fucking smart, god, Itagaki, I freaking love you, man, oh god, I, oh man, I can't wait for the anime to get to this part, part of the manga, Oh god, can you imagine the soundtrack for this? Oh god, it's gonna be so creepy, holy shit! Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive so I can keep um, bringing you more Beastars uh, content, there's a few ways um, you could do that. You could donate to my uh, Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, GoFundMe, purchase something off my Amazon. Um, wishlist, all that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, from me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Until next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later.